James. And I'm Emily. We show you our actual weight loss journey with the keto lifestyle. And our goal is to help you and ourselves lose weight and keep it off. Don't forget to like and subscribe and get ready. Set keto. All right. If you found this channel, then you're either thinking of doing keto or carnivore, or you're just one of our loyal subscribers and we thank you very much for watching. <laughs> all right, so I'm doing a different video. This is all about James. So, and not to bore anyone or give someone something to look at, I ask Emily to sit next to me. I'm here for support. All right, so this video is the surprising benefits of keto slash carnivore lifestyle. And other, I... other than weight loss and wonderful hair, <laughs> these are my benefits. Yes, because essentially, I mean, when we started this, and I mean, it still is a goal for us to lose weight and keep it off, but just there's so, more to yeah, it than that. Just so you know, we started keto slash carnivore in at the end of June of 2021 mm -hmm. and I am down 83 pounds yep and you are down 53 pounds 53 pounds so but we came for the diet and we found other things so this the will lifestyle. be focused on me Emily's will be because mine are different following completely different yeah all right when I say keto carnivore just to, for the record straight during the week, I am a carnivore. Mm -hmm. During the work week, Monday through Friday, I am a carnivore. And then on the weekends, I switch over to keto. Yes. Right. Except for this past 30 days. <laughs> this past 30 days, we've been on beef, butter, bacon, and eggs. Yes. So. Anyway, my first surprise, other than weight loss. Number one. Number one. I was never diagnosed with sleep apnea, but since I was a small child, my grandpa... When I used to stay over at his house, he never wanted me to sleep in the room with him when I was a kid mm -hmm. because I held my breath as you slept, as I slept and I moaned. So I would hold my breath for like a minute at a time and then I would let it out in the form of a moan and then deep breath again. I've done that my whole life up to the point of even up until... Shortly after keto, after we started keto, I would wake up in the morning with headaches if I ever laid on my back. Mm -hmm. If I ever, on my sides, I was always fine. I could breathe good. Right. But if I laid on my back in, my, in the middle of the night, I would wake up with a horrible headache because I held my breath all night. Mm -hmm. so, so this is no longer? Yes. It was only just a couple months after we started keto that I noticed that I no longer wake up with the headaches and I no longer hold my breath in the middle of the night. And... I was talking to Emily last night, which is what brought this video on. I snore less everything. Yes. So, that could be keto or it could be just the side effect of losing weight. Second, or both. Yeah. Second. Number two. I've been to the doctor several times for knee pain and lots of pains in my hips. Even, even to the point of when I would walk in the, around the store, just browsing in the store, my leg would go numb, my right, uh, like above the knee, up in my thigh. And it was horrible. And I'd have to sit down for a few minutes to alleviate the pain mm -hmm. that was coming from the nerves. And arthritis, I had arthritis in my right knee really, really bad. Um, during normal activities now, I have no pain whatsoever. Now, sometimes doing leg lifts and stuff like that, I will feel pain in my, in my right knee. Or afraid that you will. Yeah. <laughs> But I am getting older, but the pain is down 98%, almost non-existent. Yep. Number three. Number three. I was, I'm not one to go to the, do to the doctor. I don't, yeah. I don't cry about things. I just suck it up. Well, before we started keto carnivore, every time I ate, I fell asleep on the couch within 15 minutes. I could not watch a 30 minute sitcom without falling asleep. And that caused a little bit of trouble between us because she was angry because I didn't spend time with her. If I laid down, as soon as the TV came on, I was out. It was yeah. just, that's just how it was. I knew something was wrong, but couldn't I couldn't even watch a sitcom with me. I didn't uh -huh. know what to do. I no longer do that anymore. I can stay up. Most of the time she has to complain until I go to bed. Yeah. 
because <laughs> it'd be, I, I, I'm like a child. I will fight sleep now. Yes. <laughs> I don't love going to bed like she does. <laughs> I'm no longer sleepy, which I makes I just me... like a good seven, eight hour night's rest. <laughs> I am, I'm, I, I had to have been pre-diabetic. I didn't know, I still don't know. But my energy level from the time I wake up in the morning, I'm no more, I, I have no crashes. Yes. I'm just consistent. <laughs> And I feel very good. I felt like I was dying before I started this, for real. Yeah, he said that over and over. Over and over and over. I mean, there's just nothing more depressing than sitting down and wondering who's going to raise your kid because you feel like you're going to die. Emily has told me that I am now, I have a better mood. I'm still a little OCD and I worry about things. He's not as grumpy. <laughs> I feel better. Everything about me feels better. A lot of times he was um, very unapproachable. I'm very approachable. <laughs> if you ever see me out, if you come and talk to me, I'll talk your ear off. Yes. <laughs> and number five, I used to have a very bad bathroom problem. Digestive system problem. Just as Something. soon as I would eat, I'd have to run to the bathroom and then I'd come downstairs and a few minutes later run to the bathroom. I was always very full of gas, bloated, and I felt I was miserable. I spent more time in the bathroom than I did anywhere else. Other than the couch asleep. Other than the couch asleep. <laughs> well that doesn't happen anymore either. Now I'm not going to say that the irritable bowel has completely went away. Mm -hmm. But it is down so much. More than 50%. Oh, yeah. It, it's been an absolute life changer. So, anyway, them are my five things that the benefits that went above and beyond the weight loss. And maybe they are all related to weight loss. I mean, they could be. Right. But I, I know for a fact that the joint pain and, and just the... Be, I just have a feeling if, if I sit down and would eat a bag of chips, I'd probably start feeling lethargic and crap. Mm -hmm. Now I don't feel that. I'm, I'm no more tired after I have a big steak dinner as I was before I had it. So the keto lifestyle has worked miracles for me. And if you have had similar results or even just weird off the wall results other than weight loss, please let us know in a comment down below. If somebody just told me or us recently commented that they have less boogers. Less boogers. <laughs> you know, I think I might have less boogers too. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't really noticed that I've had a lot of boogers, so that must be, that could be something too. But anyway, uh, yeah, we upload a couple times a week. If you guys, this is something that you're interested in, we are here for any support that you need. And support, we get a lot of support too. We that, do. Yes. So. Means the world. You got anything? No, this is all you. All me. All right. <laughs> you guys take care and thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Yep, do what she says or else. <laughs> Bye, guys.